quickly looking at creating a, um, a new featured data set if we should want to. We click on Feature Data Set there, click New Feature Data Set. So this is a sort of a sub database uh, for, um, for storing data in. And we can see that uh, the, the name of the feature data set, we can call this um, Digimap or something like that. Just uh, yeah, it, whatever the name is relevant for you. And here we can see that we can actually create a data set within our database that uses a different coordinate system to the project coordinate system. This is at the moment set to the Swedish National uh, Grid, the Swedish ref 99 tm but here we could actually store in another coordinate system. Why we want to do that? Oh, well, you know, that's, that's another matter. But we can just take the current map data uh, coordinate system if you want, or choose from another file if they were different. Um, and we then click on Run. And we've created this uh, featured data set. Uh, and this is an interesting point to, to look out for. As soon as you've done this sort of create thing in uh, with the geoprocessing, you quite often see this warning triangle come up saying, oh, you, you can't do this because there's already something there, the thing you just created. So, yeah, don't worry about that little warning triangle. Um, so now we, uh, we want to go back to catalog. Uh, and we can see that we have this Digimap here, the feature data set that we just created. It doesn't contain anything. These are outside of it. We could have created them in there, uh, but we didn't. Uh, we can add that whole thing to the current map, um, or we can import feature classes. Uh, if we go to import feature class, uh, input feature class, um, we can import uh, trees, and we can import uh, roads, and we can import land cover into our Digimap. Click on Run. And let's see how long it takes. It shouldn't take very long. So that uh, is done. And then when we look here, we can see that we actually have copies of them. So these ones exist outside of uh, this feature data set, and these ones are inside it. They're all empty. Um, if we want to create a new layer within the Digimap, then we just, in exactly the same way, create a new feature class. It's in there. That was just a demonstration of this, this feature data set. Um, that, yeah, it, is, it, it, it can be useful. It packages things together, um, keeps things tidy, if you like. If you wanted to do organize all of your layers by theme, for example, that would be something you could do. Uh, create these feature data sets so that you have, say, um, uh, physical geography features and, and human geography features or economic features, or if you want transport or uh, a built environment. Oh, some kind of categorization like that. You could create feature data sets for that and then have the, 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 the layers inside there. Um, that's just one way of doing things. But otherwise, you don't actually need to create the feature data set for a lot of work.